It just released a chilling new propaganda video where a militant talking in English shows a makeshift jail holding Shia prisoners. Exclusive footage. If you see here, prisoners. This is just some of the hundreds of prisoners that we have. Most of them Shia. Yeah. The prisoners are believed to have been captured during the militant's invasion of Mosul on June 10th. The video cuts to the exterior of a building being blown up. As you see there, according to the militants, prisoners were inside. Those claims cannot be verified. Our Nema al joins us now live from Baghdad. So uh, Nema, highly produced video, very disturbing, but this is, you know, adding to their arsenal, isn't it? Absolutely, and it has been a very busy day. This first day of the Islamic holy month of Ramadan has been a very busy one for the ISIS propaganda machine. In addition to um, releasing that video, they also released an audio message, also purporting to be from ISIS, this time announcing a name change for Andrika. They say they will now only go by the Islamic State, by IS, because they are now a caliphate. They, they are now claiming to be a state that in and of itself stretches through the north of Syria to the east of Iraq. And what makes this propaganda so powerful, Frederica, is of course there is some truth in it. They do hold territory across that pretty large swathe of geography there stretching between the two countries. But as you said, the Iraqi military looking to uh, to have the upper hand in the air at least. They've had the first contingent of Russian fighter jets come into the country and they're trying to ramp up their air strikes on ISIS and they need to. We've had uh, two strikes in as many days by ISIS to the south of Baghdad on an armed forces base and, and continuing back and forth over the crucial city of Tikrit, which of course is on the highway to Baghdad. And if Tikrit falls, it would bring the militants even closer to the capital, uh, to the Iraqi capital there, Frederica.